Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number seven, which is the final question from this paper, which is the International A Level at Excel Statistics S1 paper from January 2022. And it tells us about a bag which contains N marbles, of which seven are green. From the bag, three marbles are selected at random. The random variable X represents the number of green marbles selected. Now, what we're given us here is a cumulative distribution function of X which basically is not the same as a probability distribution. If this was a probability distribution, you'd say the probability that x equals x. So the probability of picking no green marbles would be a, and the probability of picking one green marble would be basically b minus a. Because this, this number is basically these two probabilities added together. And the probability of picking two green marbles would be 37 over 38 minus this number here, minus B minus A. And the probability of picking all three green marbles would be 1 minus 37 over 38, which is 1 over 38. So we can deduce from this um, table that uh, the probability of picking that X equals 3 is F3 minus f 2. That's the probability of picking three green marbles, which, as we said, is basically 1 over 38. So what is the probability of picking three green marbles if there are seven that are green? Um, so you're going to have seven out of the number of marbles, which you don't know how much they are, so we could say n. Okay, and then times, you're going to have six green marbles for the second pick, but one less marble altogether. Um, so n minus 1 as a denominator times one less green marble over n minus 2, and that's equal to the probability of picking 3, which is 1 over 38. Okay, that's the probability of picking 3 green marbles. So we can now say that uh, 7 times 6 times 5 times 38 is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. And let's hope that this gives us 7,988. So we can say n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 is equal to have 7 times 6 times 5 times 38, 7980, which is exactly what we needed, 7980. So we have shown that n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 is equal to 7980. Then it says verify that n equals 21 satisfies the equation in part A. So let's see if n equals 1, actually, um, when n equals 21, this gives you that. So when you've got n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, let's see, when n equals 21, we've got n, we've got 21 times 20 times 19. Okay, and that gives us what? 21 times 20 times 19 which gives you 7,980. Therefore, n equals 21 satisfies the equation. Okay, that's fine. That's part B. Okay, now we're going to go on to part C. It says, given that n equals 21, find the exact value of A and the exact value of B. B. Now remember the green marbles there are, the number of green marbles is equal to 14. So let's have a look now. So we want to find the exact value of A and B. All right, so let's have a look. So what we can say is to find the value of A, we can say the probability that X equals 0 is going to give, give you what A is. Okay, so X equals 0 means no green marbles. So no green marbles would mean that we have... Basically, there are, sorry, there are seven green marbles. Well, what did I say 14? There are seven green marbles. That means the number of marbles that are not green is 21 minus 7, which is 14. So the number that are not green is 14. So we're going to have not green times not green times green, uh, times not green, sorry. So we're going to have 14 over 21 times 13 over 20 times 12 over 19 because you're going to pick three marbles and you know pick one there's one less 
Pick another one, there's one less. Pick another one, there's one less. All together, there's also this one less. So you end up with this. So let's just do this as one big fraction. 14 times, oops. 14 times 13 times 12 divided by 21 times 20 times 19. That gives us 26 over 95. 26 over 95. So therefore, A is equal to 26 over 95. That's the value of A. Now, for the value of B, now B is the sum of A and um, the probability of picking one marble. So we can say that A is equal to F1. And F1 is equal to basically the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equals 1. So what's the probability that x equals 1? Okay. What's the probability that x equals 1? In fact, we can even find this in a different way because I know that this now is 26 over 95. And I know that this plus that is going to give me... No, actually I don't. That times... That subtract, yeah, that actually, that, that's for the probability distribution, that's wrong. Okay, that's not actually correct. So ignore what I just said there. I was thinking of this as the probability distribution, it's the cumulative distribution. So we need to carry on like this. So the probability x equals 1 means that there should be one green marble out of three picks. Okay, so it's either going to be the probability of a green times the probability of not green times the probability of not green. And there's three different versions of that. You're going to have the probability that there's uh, not green and the probability that there's green and the probability that there's not green. Or we can have the probability that there's not green and the probability that there's not green times the probability that there is. The last one is green. So all of these will basically be three times you know, one of these uh, combinations. Why? Because the numerator is going to be um, let's just say we, we go with not green, not green, and green. So it's 14 times, so it's 14 over 21 times 13 over 20, and green will be 7 over 19. Okay, that's one combination. All of the rest will be the same. Why? Because um, the, you'll have the same numbers in the numerators and denominators. For example, this is going to be 14 times 7 times 13. Same numbers, 21 times 20 times 19. This will be 7 times 14 times 13. The same numbers will be multiplied. You get the same result three times. So this is going to give us the probability that x equals 1. It's going to be this. So we'll take this. We'll have 3 times. And we've got 14 times 13 times 12. Times 7, sorry, this time. Because that's 1 green over 21, 21 times 20, times 19. Okay, so that's going to be 91 over 190. Okay, now we want to find F1. Um, which is F0 plus, which is, sorry, which is basically the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equals 1. So we found the probability that x equals 0. That's 26 over 95. That's 26 over 95 plus 91 over 190. So that's going to give us plus 26 oops, over 95. That gives us 143 over 190, and that's what F1 equals 143 over 190. Therefore, we can say A is equal to 26 over 95, and B is equal to 143 over 190. So there's the answer to part C of this question. And I think that's it. That concludes this that concludes this question. And that concludes this paper.
Um, <clears throat> other questions from this paper can be found by clicking on this link over here. Other questions from this topic of discrete random variables by clicking on the link over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.